Hello and welcome my beautiful Leos, my lions. This is your general tarot and oracle card forecast for the week of October the 28th to November the 3rd. Not every single card or the energy they carry will resonate with every single one of you, but take what you can from it and throw the rest out into the universe. Jumping in right off the bat, you've been given your download message of what you nurture will grow. Okay, so you may have an idea this week, you may have a passion, you may have a plan um, that you're wanting to keep detailed and and you have something that you really want to see grow. You want to see something improve, whether it's the growth of a relationship, love in your life, whether it's a nurturing yourself physically, emotionally and spiritually to be in that all over space of well-being or whether you're nurturing something to do with work and your business and maybe a project you're working on. Stay in alignment and know that you're on the right path. Now, you've given the wild, wild, you've been given the coyote spirit, and I'm thinking of coyotes being wild. We have them all around where I live, and we have to be very mindful of anybody that has little dogs, little pets. Um, you know, we don't let our cats out and things like that because these guys are roaming everywhere now, and um, they're, they're, they walk over our property all the time. So, and they can be very changeable. They can change directions very quickly. They react. And this is about you trusting in divine detours. Something could be coming through here that all of a sudden now you've got to figure out a new pathway to go. You, you know, you, you see danger and like the coyote, you veer off. So this is about you trusting that there could be a divine detour coming in for you. And you're going to be able to uh, have to think on your feet and figure out a way to traverse, to maneuver and to, um, you know, change your path at a moment's um, a moment's notice so don't be afraid to do that now coming in with your first card here with that you've been given the five of fire now we know the five of fire is that card of you know competing goals and feeling as though you're having to compete with something but it's also it can be stress caused by differing opinions other people might not agree with everything that you want to do and you might be locking horns uh, with someone so you're currently experiencing an opportunity to learn and grow though and it may seem like a challenge but the key to success is to stand up for what you know is right okay stay positive in your interactions with others and a peaceful resolution can be found if you do that so, you know, make a personal choice to avoid drama right now, okay? Also, especially drama created by those around you. If it doesn't serve you, you don't have to be part of it. If you're feeling at odds with yourself, then gift yourself with a little peace and quiet time, okay? If you find yourself being challenged, stand back and take a moment to review the situation and be objective about it. Is this really a problem with another person or are you experiencing a reflection of your own inner struggles right now? Okay, so, you know, sometimes the universe is providing us with an opportunity to be freed of old personal conflicts that hold us back. So we need to let go of them. Okay, so maybe you're worrying too much right now about details and, um, you know, you're, you're, you're feeling that you're having to push yourself forward. So again, I always say walk away from unnecessary, unnecessary battles. Coming in in your focus part of your week, you've been given the fish. And the fish is that card of plenty. The fish is that card of, of you know, uh, financial income, personal possessions, materialistic thinking, something or someone that can influence us with money. So I think right now it's time to find some inner balance. You know, listen to your inner voice. And, uh, you know, sometimes you may feel as though you're swimming against the tide. So do something you have never dared to do. Even if everyone else disagrees, listen to your inner voice because your actions are your responsibilities alone. Don't be afraid to do that. Okay. Um, often it shows, you know, you can feel a bit of lack of finances in your life right now right so you know this is a new beginning a way for you to uh step up to the plate to create more money for yourself if you're finding and i do see you kind of um you know maneuvering around a situation here traversing around a situation navigating yourself so that you can find the money that you need at this time and you'll do that by creating something that will do this for you now with this card comes in below it comes in the ace of water and the ace of cups right and this is about maybe uh, developing a crush on someone somebody new coming in it could be a new new first love it could be uh you know sharing some emotions with each other by flirting with each other 
you know, this is the, the card of emotions and something new stirring in your heart. And it may be a budding relationship that has your heart fluttering. Or it could be a current partnership that is experiencing a reawakening. Maybe you're finding time for somebody now. You know, life gets in our way and we don't have those date nights. Or we don't take time to be with each other and share each other's day. Or or, or even just sit and, and be with your partner and listen. So, um, you know, this is kind of like a reawakening. If there's no one in your life then at this moment then you could be anticipated the arrival of someone very soon you might even fall in love with somebody new so it's a beginning of something an emotional experience and so it's time for you to say yes to them okay this is this is opening your heart to others uh it's almost like a spiritual enlightenment or an epiphany that's coming in and the universe is letting you know this is your time this is your time to feel love <laughs> Coming in in the center position, which could be the challenge part of your, your reading, you've got offerings. So you will be offered a new position or investment opportunity. Think about it and research it carefully before accepting. So there could be something new coming in. You Maybe you're getting offered a new position at work, a new job title that you didn't expect. And it might mean, you know, there it comes with responsibilities and it comes with consequences. You know, I always say to people, it's great to take that promotion. But remember, there are attachments to it. It means maybe you're working more hours you won't get the holidays off you thought maybe you have to work holidays maybe you're being called up for a lot more responsibility which does involve getting paid that m more money so um, before accepting this think about it research it and is it going to really serve you to your greater good and that's what's important here is this going to benefit you more than you know than the responsibilities of having to do it so you could be offered a new position or an investment opportunity to make more money you could it might require you leaving a situation because the six of swords is that card of leaving something you know leaving troubled waters and going to calmer shores it's that card that says you are going in a new direction and uh, you don't have to go back to where you were okay you've made a you've made a decision perhaps that you know you're walking away from something that was not serving you Okay. so you're going to go in a brand new uh, on a brand new direction so <clears throat> you know this is peace after challenging times, the return of hope and staying moving forward, slowly moving forward, gaining a more positive viewpoint. You could be starting a new life, okay? The universe, it's almost like the universe heard your prayers and now things are going to get much better for you. But it may have been a long and difficult journey to get here, all right? But you're moving forward nonetheless. And I always say, um, you know, <clears throat> your journey is more of a spiritual one sometimes, leading to amazing new revelations. So you, you could be, um, you know, going through a, a real enlightening moment right now where, you know, the light bulb goes off. You, you finally go, aha, now I know what I have to do. I'm going after this. I'm going to take this chance. Maybe I'm going to take this new job, this new opportunity. And I'm going to think about it, but it's going to take me time but i'm going to get where i want to go so you're leaving troubled waters and going to calmer shores now coming in with your messages from spirit you've been given the <clears throat> you've been given uh the letter card here and <clears throat> You know, this is about a document. It could be a document coming in or a package or an invoice or a certificate. But it can also be results from a test or an exam that maybe you've taken. Maybe it's medical or maybe it's uh, scholastic. So um, it could be an invoice too that you're receiving here. But it will be communication. Sometimes it can be intimate communication, which is very important as well. You could be receiving a letter of love or, or a letter of some sort of intention to uh, that has to do with your emotions here. So it's beautiful. But I also always look at it as, a, as an important thing and I don't see it as bad news either it comes in with the world I mean how can you go wrong with the world right the world is that beautiful card that says you're moving forward it's the end of one cycle you're going into a new cycle it's beautiful so you know moving towards something here very very beautiful for you I think that it's time for you to do this I think that you're going to find that there's going to be some great change in your life and you're going to embrace it this is your purpose okay you know you're seeing clarity now and um, it's about <clears throat> your dreams coming true incredible accomplishments can be yours and all your efforts have come full circle and you now can be congratulated for an amazing job when we get this world card it's amazing so this is all about you seeing growth coming into you and feeling very blessed at this time so you may be feel hearing some information or receiving something here that's going to make you feel that way wow now coming in at the end of the week <clears throat> could be possible possible future energy you've got the fox now not only did you have the coyote but you got the fox and I always think about the fox as thinking on your feet okay 
<clears throat> but remember, if you forgive a fox for stealing your chickens, he's only going to steal your sheep. So beware of the wolf in sheep's clothing is what they're telling me. Okay, so um, it indicates that someone you think you may know may be manipulating you or using you to further his or her agenda. Okay, this could refer to a personal situation of deception, right? So it's a warning to keep your eyes open. Don't allow yourself to be charmed and taken in by a an, a, an attractive con artist. You know, it may refer to fraudulent or financial schemes that you can avoid right now. Don't don't go falling into this trap of remaining vigilant, re, but remain vigilant and responsible. So, all of this means deception and charm and manipulation, betrayal, fraud, and trickery. Somebody may have an agenda here because they're seeing you <clears throat> rising up the ranks. So there could be somebody at work that's a little jealous of you. But I think you're smart enough to know that um, you're going to think on your feet. And you're not going to allow that drama to come into the equation. So just think on your feet right now. Keep your eyes open. Not everything that glitters is gold. And also, if uh, there could be somebody who has an agenda here. They may be coming across. But remember, not everybody at work is our best friend. So coming in next, you've got the Wheel of Fortune. So as long as you keep that in mind, you're going to protect yourself here. You're not going to see <clears throat> anything happen here where you're not going to be able to move forward in a successful way. So this is, you know, a change for the better. Hope for a brighter tomorrow. <clears throat> a new, a new, well, you could be getting a new car because there's a wheel here too. And what goes around comes around, right? So this is all about you celebrating good luck that's coming your way. Um, any slow moving events will now suddenly take a leap forward and there's going to be great progress. And that's quite possible right now. Unexpected opportunities could provide you with the chance to, to see real change in your life right now. And it may be necessary for you to make clear and firm decisions very quickly. Okay, if the situation you find yourself in leaves you lacking confidence, ask for assistance from Source and the people around you to guide you through this, okay? This is a beautiful, unexpected turn of events that could change life for the better for you, okay? So beautiful. <clears throat> I love this reading. Now, let's see what we have here. Leo, let's see what we have here for your additional messages here. Let's see what you have. What do you need to see, know, and expect? There's offerings coming in. You could be hearing news here. You're going to have to think on your feet. <clears throat> You're moving in a new, more positive direction. Coming in with the five, of <clears throat> the five of Wands. The Five of Wands comes in with the King of Cups. And the King of Cups is this nurturing, kind, caring, giving individual who you may be getting some counsel from, some help from, some love from. He, this person is the ideal mate. <clears throat> now, <clears throat> if you are looking for love here, you're going to find it in this king, okay, male or female. This is someone who's on the same page as you, someone who's there to give you uh, counsel and also give you uh, clear and concise advice if you're needing some wise counsel from somebody. They're trustworthy. They do it because they really care about you. They don't, they don't want anything in return. So this is the kind of caring, uh, compassionate individual that could be stepping forward to help you with any struggles you're dealing with. Or this could be your new, <clears throat> your new person. <clears throat> Coming in with... You know, what you need to focus on with the Ace of Cups, you've got a beautiful opportunity. Yeah. Ace of Pentacles doesn't get much better than that. That's a card that says, guess what? Things are moving forward in a very progressive way. This is a card that says you could be also receiving uh, an award. You could be receiving um, a promotion. You could be receiving... <clears throat> you know, anything here, but it's a card of good luck. You could also be signing a business document. Be mindful of what you're signing to here, okay? And, um, you know, focusing on those good results. It's a card of good luck and hope for the future. You're feeling very blessed right now. Uh, maybe it has to do with feeling that you feel very blessed, that the universe is shining down on you, sending you the love that you so deserve. Coming in with that Six of Swords and moving on in a new direction, you've got the King. Second King here, you had the King of Cups, you've got the King of Swords now. Now the King of Swords <clears throat> is that card of really receiving some advice from somebody. Somebody who is m mindful and wise and they're there to promote, defend and maybe, you know, stand up and advocate for you, right? So standing up for what's right, okay? But you could also be dealing with military or, or government issues or scientists or college professors as well that, that you know you're getting advice from and you can trust it. You're being called to be a spokesperson maybe for the cause <clears throat> closest to your heart. Maybe you're the one stepping up doing this. Don't worry because you have the ability to give the perfect words and use that you need to use in a situation. Okay. Um, 
you know, time has given you the experiences and expertise, even to be a teacher and a mentor yourself to those around you. You have all the right words you can speak up about, but you could be receiving some wise counsel, maybe on a legal situation. Maybe you're hiring somebody here as an advocate to overlook some documents that you may be receiving that you need to have signed and know that you're signing them legally, okay, as a mediator. Coming in with that beautiful world card, <clears throat> you've got the Six of Pentacles. Now, the Six of Pentacles, I call it the gift card. It's give and take, push, pull, bartering, and negotiating energy. And often there's a fair and equal division here. So you could be receiving something very generous from somebody, or you could be stepping up and saying, I'm going to share the wealth with someone else. And that can be your time, effort, support, or maybe even finances here. Beautiful. Coming in with your final card and that beautiful Wheel of Fortune. What have we got? You've got the King of Rods. So you're focused. So you've got three kings here. You've got the kind, compassionate. You've got the, the legal eagle here who stands up for himself, stands in his own, <clears throat> in his own right. And, and, and you've got the King of Rods. So staying focused, going for your goals, going big or going home. Not allowing anybody to distract you or, or to discourage you or to <clears throat> talk you out of anything. You're, you're moving forward towards a wonderful new goal here. I think you're going to find, I mean, you got great cards here. You're going to find not only happiness, but you're going to find financial offerings coming in and, you know, love offerings perhaps coming in. And as long as you stay focused and nurture them, you're going to see them come to fruition. Wow. Well, my beautiful lions, my Leos, this is your general reading for this week. <clears throat> Excuse me. And I wish you a great remainder to today and a beautiful, optimistic, healthy, happy, prosperous, and successful week. And always know I stand in this circle of love and light for you. And I'll see you soon, my beautiful Leos.